Hey everyone, it's James with Urban Jungle MSP, and I am really happy to say that I'm making a new video. It feels like it's been eight years since I've created something for YouTube, but it's only been a month. This last month has been honestly crazy. So this video is probably going to be like a little rambly and off topic, but I just wanted to give you some updates in terms of what I've been doing in the last month and how my plants have been doing as well. The first thing that you might notice is that I'm wearing this super cool shirt that says Hoyaholic, which is 100% true. If anybody's hot for Hoya, it is 100% me. Um, I actually got this shirt from Mellow Monkey Shop, which is one of my friends on Instagram. They were super sweet and sent me this shirt and a decal, as well as a shirt that says variegated everything. So thank you to them for sending me this. But I wanted to talk about a few things that have come up in the last month or so, um, just to kind of give you a little bit of an update. So here it goes. In the last month, I went through a really rough transaction from purchasing a plant off of Facebook that involved a dispute through PayPal, which ended up getting escalated, and it was just a whole big mess. And I'm really happy to be able to like wash my hands of that. I was trying to buy a variegated Hindu rope from somebody that was selling a plant through Facebook Marketplace, and it just felt like every single step of the way if something went wrong. I ended up receiving a plant that would, was not everything that was pictured in the listing. It ended up having muley bugs. The seller wasn't accommodating. It was a mess. So anyway, that is over. I ended up getting my money back. And if you just give me one second. Look what I ended up finding. So during that whole mess and debacle, I went to one of my favorite nurseries and somebody gave me a hot tip that said, hey, I think I might have seen a variegated Hindu rope at Cub, which is one of the grocery stores around here. So I ran over as fast as I could and I found this little guy for $15 and it has been growing like crazy. You see all this pink growth? That's new in the last month and I'm just telling you what, this guy is going to beat the band. I have it in a south facing window and it's super happy. I'm really happy to have found this. It feels like God's little miracle looking down on me. Planty miracle. But anyway, you catch my drift. So in addition to dealing with kind of a rough buying situation, um, I have actually ordered quite a few plants since we've spoken last. And I actually wanted to share a couple of things. So the first thing I wanted to show you is this Hoya Decii. This is actually a plant that I got from a friend locally. She gave me a rooted cutting and this thing has been going crazy. I got this leaf as well as this leaf and it has been growing super well for me. I don't have it in any type of special like humidity situation and it's growing this really long um, tendril, if you will. So we'll see how this guy does. People say that this is really finicky. Um, I haven't had any trouble with it and it's produced these like beautifully splashed leaves. So I just have my fingers crossed for it that it's just gonna keep growing well. So that one I'm super excited about. Another splashy Hoya that I'm really excited about is this Hoya Macrophylla Snow Queen. So I got this plant and it was just this singular leaf right here. And I purchased it off Mercari. I actually unboxed this plant in my Halloween video where I was dressed up like one of the handmaids from The Handmaid's Tale. Um, so anyway, it was this one leaf. It grew this guy over here, which came in way more splashy. I have it under one of my grow lights and it seems to be responding really well. And then it popped out a whole nother growth point and gave me this leaf that is like half splash. Like, can you see this? This thing is going to be the band and I have no idea what I'm doing right, but something is working. So I'm really happy about it. Um, I've been trying to do some research recently as well, just regarding splash on Hoyas. There's a lot of mixed information about there. Some people say if you grow a plant in lower light, the splash will come out more. I've gotten some information saying that if you grow a plant in a full LED, environment that that will produce more splash. Some people are just saying more sunlight produces it. There's literally so much mixed information. So if any of you have any kind of scientific information or studies that you could send me that have information relating to producing more splash in plants, 
I'd really appreciate if you could send it to me. Either send me an Instagram message or mention it in the comments. I'm just genuinely curious and I love splash on my Hoyas, so any information you could provide would be amazing. I also have one other plant here that is doing super well and is really unique. I have a Hoya Rebecca and it's one of the Hoyas that actually changes colors in higher light environments. And as you can see here, I have this under one of my grow lights and it is dark red. It is a little bit stressed out, but you know, she's showing grace under pressure. Um, and actually, one of her peduncles activated and she's producing a bloom. So I'm expecting this thing to push out some blooms soon, hopefully. But until then, I'm just enjoying this gorgeous foliage that she's got. She's putting out a bunch of new growth and she seems to be really happy. And I have one more thing that I'm really excited to show you. So over the spring, I bought one of my first plants online. I purchased this Hoya Lacunosa snow caps off of eBay and it came in a big 10 inch container. It was one of La Costa Farms plants and I ended up splitting it. I sold one to a friend in the Twin Cities at Plant Soda on Instagram and I kept this one and I ended up putting it on my plant shelf which has some grow lights that it lives under and this thing has been growing non-stop. After I figured out that this is one of the varieties that wants a little bit more water, it's just been putting out new growth and new growth and new growth and recently it's been putting off a ton of peduncles. I counted eight or nine on this thing at one point. So there's a bunch of peduncles throughout the plant and it actually just got done flowering. This plant, the blooms smell like lilac and the new growth that I'm getting on this plant are almost, the new leaves are almost fully splashed. Like these are completely silver. So I'm kind of leaning towards an LED environment might be producing more splash on my Hoyas, but like I said, if anybody has information, send it to me. Super impressed by this Hoya right here. Hoya Lacunosa Snowcaps. This plant has been super easy for me. It's an easy bloomer. I have this weird trellis in here. I thought it would like grow up it more, but it just is what it is. One other plant that's been growing surprisingly well lately is this guy, my Hoya Linearis. I moved it away from the window a little bit a couple of months ago to take a picture. I took a picture from my Instagram and I forgot to put it back where I had it initially and then I started notice, noticing a couple weeks after I did that that it was starting to grow more and then it just kept growing and growing and there's even a peduncle. This last little bit right here has a teeny tiny peduncle on it so I'm hoping, I'm hoping that the buds don't get blasted. We will see but that guy, I did everything for it in the summer. I gave it, you know, you would think with a Hoya, like bright and direct light, well-draining soil, I did everything. She just wanted to be neglected. She just wanted to be a further away from the window. I haven't been watering it as much. She doesn't want you to bother her. So that's just a lesson. Um, I did leave my plants over the winter holiday. I celebrated Christmas with my mom back home in Madison and all of my plants grew insanely well in the time that I wasn't here. So just goes to show you that plants are resilient and they, they just want to be left alone and to grow. So anyway, that's about it for me. This was just a super quick update for you. I am looking forward to producing more videos in the future. And if you have ideas for what you want to see from me, please let me know down in the comments. I obviously am very into Hoyas, so especially Hoya related content, I'd be really happy to bring to you. But if you just have general plant care questions, feel free to send those my way as well. That's it for me. Go and follow me on Instagram if you aren't already. I post quite a bit over there. Um, it's at Urban Jungle MSP. I'm actually in the middle of planning an event with a few of my houseplant friends from the Twin Cities. We're planning a houseplant happy hour. So if you live in the Twin Cities and are able to come January 25th from 1 to 3 at Bauhaus Brew Labs, uh, we are putting together the houseplant happy hour. There's a lot of great giveaways and it's a really awesome way for you to come into the fold of the houseplant community here in Minneapolis and St. Paul. So anyway, that's about it for me. Like I said, hop on over to Instagram at Urban Jungle MSP. Make sure you're tagging pictures with Hoya content with hashtag Hoya, and I'll see you really soon.